Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday. This begins on page 401 in your prayer books. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Let's say together the opening canticle, the song of God's grace. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. There are two psalms set for today, Psalms 65 and 70. Uh, so we begin on page 285. Page 285. Psalm 65. You are to be praised, O God, in Zion. To you shall vows be paid, you that answer prayer. To you shall all flesh come to confess their sins. When our misdeeds prevail against us, you will purge them away. Blessed are those whom you choose to take to yourself to dwell within your courts. We shall be filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You will answer us in your righteousness with terrible deeds, O God our Saviour. You that are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the distant seas, who by your strength made fast the mountains, you that are girded with power, who stilled the raging of the seas, the roaring of the waves and the tumult of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth are afraid of your wonders. The dawn and the evening sing your praises. You tend the earth and water it. You make it rich and fertile. The river of God is full of water. And so providing for the earth, you provide grain for us all. You drench its furrows, you level the ridges between. You soften it with showers and bless its early growth. You crown the year with your goodness, and the tracks where you have passed drip with fatness. The pastures of the wilderness run over, and the hills are girded with joy. The meadows are clothed with sheep, the valleys stand so thick with corn, they shout for joy and sing. Now, Psalm 70, which begins on page 292. <clears throat> o God, be pleased to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let, me be put, let them be put to shame and confounded who seek my life. Let them be turned back in disgrace who wish me evil. 
Let them turn away for shame, who say to me, aha, aha. Let all who seek you be joyful and glad because of you. Let those who love your salvation say always, God is great. As for me, I am poor and needy. For God be swift to save me. You are my helper and my deliverer. O Lord, make no delay. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words, and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The first reading this morning comes from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 9, verses 12 to 26. Who is wise enough to understand this? To whom has the mouth of the Lord spoken, so that they may declare it? Why is the land ruined and laid waste like a wilderness, so that no one passes through? And the Lord says, Because they have forsaken my law that I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, or walked in accordance with it, but have stubbornly followed their own hearts, and have gone after the Baals as their ancestors taught them, Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I am feeding this people with wormwood and giving them poisonous water to drink. I will scatter them among the nations that neither they nor their ancestors have known, and I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them. Thus says the Lord of hosts, consider the call for the mourning women to come. Send for the skilled women to come. Let them quickly raise a dirge over us, so that our eyes may run down with tears and our eyelids flow with water. For a sound of wailing is heard from Zion, how we are ruined. We are utterly shamed because we have left the land, because they have cast down our dwellings. Hear, O women, the word of the Lord, and let your ears receive the word of his mouth. Teach to your daughters a dirge, and each to her neighbor a lament. Death has come up into our windows and has entered our palaces to cut off the children from the streets and the young men from the squares. Speak, thus says the Lord. Human corpses shall fall like dung upon the open field, like sheaves behind the reaper. No one will gather them. Thus says the Lord. Do not let the wise boast in their wisdom. Do not let the mighty boast in their might. Do not let the wealthy boast in their wealth, but let those who boast, boast in this, that they understand and know me, and I am the Lord, that I am the Lord. I act with steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will attend to all those who are circumcised only in the foreskin, Egypt, Judah, Edom, and the Ammonites, Moab, and all those with shaven temples who live in the desert. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel is uncircumcised in heart. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The second reading is from the letter of James, chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness, for all of us make many mistakes. Anyone who makes no mistakes in speaking is perfect, able to keep the whole body in check with a bridle. If we put bits into, our, into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we guide their whole bodies. Or look at ships, though they are so large, it, that, that it takes strong winds to drive them, yet they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, and yet it boasts of great exploits. How great a forest is set ablaze by a small fire. And the tongue is a fire, 
the tongue is placed among our members as a world of iniquity. It stains the whole body, sets on fire the cycle of nature, and is itself set on fire by hell. For every species of beasts and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by the human species. But, it, but no one can tame the tongue, a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless the Lord and Father, and with it we curse those who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brother and sisters, this ought not to be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening both fresh and brackish water? Can a fig tree, my brothers and sisters, yield olives or a grape vine figs? No more can salt water yield fresh. Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness, born of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. For where there is envy and selfish ambition, there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy, and a harvest of righteousness is shown in peace for those who make peace. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The canticle, Te Deum Laudamus. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood. And bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Collect Prayer. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully grant our prayers, and because through our, the weakness of our mortal nature we can do nothing good without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments we may please you both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we pray today for our world. We pray especially today for the tensions that exist currently between Russia and the Ukraine. We pray that peace may prevail in that region and on that border, that there will be no escalation of hostility, no loss of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who are 
suffering as a consequence of this worldwide pandemic. We pray for all who are sick. We pray for all who tend to the sick, those who are exhausted, those who are working without strength, without any sense of hope. Pray that their hearts and minds may be filled with love and with courage and with strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are anxious and distressed. Pray for those who are seeking help for their anxiety, those with mental health issues. We pray for a calm and a peace to settle within our hearts, within those we know and love, and within our communities. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for those in our community who have drifted away from faith. We pray that they may rediscover in their lives the seed of faith, hope, and love, praying that we as individuals and as a parish may play our part in their rediscovering that faith. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for the church, both here and throughout the world. Today we've been asked to pray in our cycle of prayer for the Diocese of North Queensland, for Bishop Keith Joseph, for the clergy and people of that diocese, and for the parish of St Andrews, Brighton, for the clergy there, Ian Morrison and Michelle Wang, for all the people in that parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our own parish, for all connected with all saints, and for all in our parish family. But in our cycle of prayer, we pray today for Judy Haig, for Margaret and Pip Hamilton, for Neil Hancock, and for Carly Hannah. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power you are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen.